All right, uh, it was good, Shalom. Before we get started, we giving all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to them apostles and the elders, the great millstone. We out here in Columbus, Ohio on this dark and gloomy day. Where is it? What street is it? I don't even know what street is it. We by the Supreme Court, not by the river. That's the river down there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, but check this out. We came up here. We was out here teaching last week, weren't we? We came up, we seen this man. You didn't see it? Let's investigate this. Oh, no. Oh, God, oh, no. Ah! Well, that's cringe. Ain't that cringe? That's cringe. Oh, man. That's vomit. That makes me want to puke. Uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, unarmed. Or don't, oh, man. This is going on YouTube. I, did I mess up already? We're going to get it deleted. Unarmed. <laughs> Unarmed truth, unconditional love. Unarmed truth. What does that mean, unarmed truth? Your truth, you don't have no arms with your truth? They have no arms? They're unarmed. We're armed with the scriptures, bro. We got the sword. He said, you ain't hit when he said that. Look at this. Interpreted two edged sword. Hey, look at this water down. Look at the little waves. That's how strong the wind is, is pushing that water. And it's strong out here. Unconditional love. What is this? What is this? Satan? <laughs> That's a fallen angel. You know how they try to say Satan is a fallen angel or something? That looks like a demon. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a little demon? Look at these little guys. Look, look like the wings are teeth and it's about to eat you. You know that heart really represents an ass. You know that, like a butt cheeks? Maybe you turn it upside down? That's what it goes back to. That's sexual magic. That's real love. It's been, <laughs> it's been in your woman over, I guess. But this is what I've seen. Oh, this really, ugh. Many branches, one world. Many, this is, they're trying to say all people are supposed to be the same. We're all together, we're all equal. Oh man, they will delete it. Please don't delete our channel for hate speech because this is not hate speech for what we're about to tell you. Because according to the Holy... Let's get a scripture. Get a... It says many branches, one world. Get a... Oh, you already know. Second Ezra 6 and... Towards the end where it talks about the... All people come from Adam. Because all people do come from Adam. I mean, we all come from... We're all kind of related. But not really. The Lord created distinct nations. Okay. And look at how it has, if you notice the branches, it has the different colored branches. You see that? I mean, the skin color, that's not really what matters, actually. What matters is the seed and who your forefathers were. That's what matters. What matters is if you descend from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's what matters. Second Ezra 6 and 56. As for the other people which also come with Adam, it says, that has said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Uh, so it said from the other people that all come they also come from Adam. Because all people come from Adam. Alright? All I people I, skipped, huh? I think I skipped that. Yeah, part. go ahead, read a part of yeah, go uh, ahead. Fit, uh, second Ezra uh, 6 and 54. Uh, and after these Adam also whom thou hast made made us Lord of all thy creatures, and him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. This I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made us the world for our sakes. I say the Lord made the world for our sakes. See, it says one world. Many branches, one world. Well, there are many branches, but there's only the, there's one, one main branch, and that's the nation of Israel, okay? Uh, Yahweh Shai said he is the branch. You can go into that, you know? The Lord came from, read that again. And after these, Adam also, whom thou mayest, Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Oh shit, you wanna get our garments on real quick? Yeah. Well, that I add a little layer of uh, warmth. <laughs> it's cold out here. Hey, you drive a dime? Oh no. That was there? I don't think so. I did it right. Oh. I ain't hear no thing drop. Look, see, that's the Lord. Yeah, yeah. That reminds me of that scripture where it said you can't mix uh, 
uh, like you sowing, sowing something in the, uh, you know, in the field, you can be mixing shit. And then that mind, this remind me of that picture, uh, cause Esau, he got like a tree that's like, like different fucking fruits and like all in one, like yeah. some mixture of shit. And that's what it reminds me of. That's against the scriptures. You can't mix shit together. That's the tree of confusion. Hey, that's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's the tree of the forbidden fruit right there that the serpent gave to Eve. That's what that is. Yeah, that thing got many branches. All kind of strange fruit growing off of that tree. Dude, wow. But, I mean, but in, the, in their mind, though, they think they're doing right because whoever made this, they probably think, you know, that, oh, you can't judge people by color and all this stuff. You know, that part's true, though. You can't judge by color, but you can judge by spirit. You can judge by a nationality, because there's many different nations on the earth. And they're not all the same. Hey, we hold this for a second. Oh, don't. All right, don't drop it. No, I mean don't hit the right for it. Shit, garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you seen that video? The motherfucking dude was making a little press conference. Whatever he said. In this new world order, I mean, uh, COVID, new world COVID, some shit. You know what I'm talking about? He slipped. Oh yeah, I seen that. Yeah, trying to make that 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 one order, the new world order bullshit. Oh, that's what that is. One world order. Tower of Babylon. Tower of Babylon. Babylon the Great. That's confusion. That's why. Babylon, that's how we know America's Babylon the Great. Here we go. Right here. Yeah. What are we gonna yeah. do? Oh, oh, let's check out the other thing. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> Spanish. Love land. Oh God. B O L F C. That's how. Trash. What if we came out here and put up an Israelite thing? When we put up here, uh, <laughs> we gonna put up Matthew 15, 24. We just put up a bunch of scriptures. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, they can tear it down. We get all kind of trouble. We get fined. But they can come out here and put this nonsense up. This is ridiculous. Yeah, they got that damn. It says black. Deliver, wait, deliver black dreams. That's going off. First of all, we're not black and you're not supposed to have no dreams. Because what the scripture said, dreams lifted up fools. Yeah. Shit, if they have a dream, you gotta be asleep. <laughs> Look, I don't know. That's why they said right here that, uh, but I love you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm done. Trash. I'm just, man, get out of here. <laughs> that, that reminds me of Brother Love. You ever Brother Love? I love you. <laughs> you know, they never watch that wrestling? No. That was that, that, was that, that, was that old school WWF. What the hell? Brother Love. That old Brother Love spirit. Trash. Don't love everybody. I don't love everybody. Hey, I don't know you, but I'll, well, hold up. How can you love somebody if you don't know them? If the scriptures say you, you shall know them by their fruits. So if you don't know a person, you don't know them. They could be a child molester, a devil worshiper. You don't know them. We're going to just automatically love them? Trash. That's insanity. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, he didn't think that one out. Or maybe he did think it out. Yeah. Whew. That one go over here. We get that one. Find a spot where the wind protects us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this it? Kind of. I feel a little heat. A little, little. I think that's it right here. Eh? I think so. We'll be hiding though. They can't see it. <laughs> Which way is the wind blowing? I feel like it's blowing that way. It is blowing that way. All right. Ain't like no fucking way. snow. Look, you see that shit? Huh? Look at that. Is it snow? What the hell is that shit? It looks like hail. It is snow or something. Here, I got you. I'll put this on here. Man, it looks like it's probably just gonna be, uh, <laughs> well, we don't know what the day brings, but ain't gonna be a whole lot of people walking around today. Are we good? Madness. We get this madness behind us. We get a little. <laughs> if we gonna do it like that, we gonna have the, the BLM behind us. Huh? <laughs> we gonna put, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, oh man, it's official now. <laughs> Shit. We're gonna, we're gonna infiltrate, it's like. Oh, we gotta get that BLM on there, hold up. There we go. <laughs> we got the rainbow, cause really, what kind of rainbow? That's a discolored rainbow. That's not a proper rainbow, that's the dookie rainbow. Look at it, it's, doesn't it look the dookie rainbow? Yeah. Where's all the colors at? That's cool though. It's probably, you know, hope. Hey, I remember when you look into the peace symbol. I don't know if you can see that. The peace symbol. If you don't know what a peace symbol is, when you look into that, it's actually, uh, that goes back to the symbol of the demon for war. There's a demon for war symbol, and it's the same thing as that, but it turned upside down. So I guess they thought if we turn the demon symbol upside down, it means peace. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Why did I see that? That was an Aleister Crowley book. Little demons. Love wins. What is love? Hey, right, let's get that. I'll get the scripture. I'll make, it's cold out here. You can't make him get all the scriptures, you know? <laughs> that's the thing, too. Like, that's the spirit I went through, kind of went through this yesterday. Because uh, it's just like a quote from Bruce Lee. He said, notice how the, the, uh, the bamboo tree pretty much bends with the wind. Ooh. And a stiff, a stiff tree, it, it cracks easy because it's stiff. You know what I'm saying? And they talking about, and I made that point that the most high, he got many different emotions. You know what I'm saying? He's not just love. He's a, you know, you got to be adaptable. You can't just have love because sometimes you got to adapt. Sometimes a situation might call, you might have to have hate somebody. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, you know? Or you might have to be, you might have to be angry. They, they, they always pushing happiness and love. That's, that's just one-sided. Unbalanced. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, when in English and Hebrew says, I, Yahweh, do all these things. So the Lord, he said he makes the peace and the evil. He creates the light and the darkness. So there is a balance to that. Just like the book of Ecclesiastes goes in, there's a time for everything. Oh, I mean, you can get it if you want. Go ahead. People always want to say love wins. But what love, what's it? Love working no ill to his neighbor. But what is love? You can't just, people have their, everybody has their own personal definition of what love is. Nobody has a, you know, there's no, co there's no one singular definition of love for the, all the people. They don't all believe in the same definition of love. Everybody's idea of what love is is different. I'm sure a pedophile's idea of what love is is different than your idea of love. You know? Homosexuals, they think that's love. You know, man and man and woman and woman. But that's just what the scripture says in uh, Romans. It's, it's just uh, 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 lust. What about the furries? Oh, uh, you ain't seen the furries? Uh, oh, that's love too, right? Let me show y'all, man. Y'all know about the furries is getting. <sighs> this is cancer. You want to see some cancerous? Check this out. Hold on, go ahead. I'm gonna find it. You're not ready for this. You you want to talk about? Is this love? But they'll say this is love, though. I gotta find it. Can you see the furries? Black Lives Matters, I'll break any, any, any cups. If you don't support Black Lives Matters, I'll break any, any, any cups. If you don't support Black Lives Matters, I'll break any, any, any cups. It's just weirdos. That's who Black, Black Lives Supporters people are. I don't know if you got it on the camera. Oh, they didn't even get that on there? It's on my Twitter. Go to that Kings of the Earth Twitter. I can't tell. They're like furries, you know what I'm saying? They people dressed up like kittens and cats. Just a bunch of weirdos. I mean, is that love? Is that love? Weirdos. That's some weirdo shit. That's this right here. That's what that is. You see them out there, just a bunch of weirdos, and they call that love. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 3. We want to everything, there's a season and a time, and to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal, a 
time to break down and a time to build up. So there's a time for everything. So what does that mean, love? Love, that don't even mean nothing. Love. Just love wins. Love is the answer. And they'll tell you, what, how, how do you solve the problems? Love. It's like, what? what is it? That doesn't even mean nothing. It's, uh... Uh... Maybe we just get to the point where we just keep reading. Oh, you go to the point. All right, it's, uh, verse 8 says, uh, a time to love and a time to hate. A time, there's a time to love and a time to hate. Not just all love. Did the scriptures say that we, we hate who the Lord hates? Oh, that's in uh, the Psalms. 130, uh, let me get it. I got a little piece of Oh, go ahead. It says a time, <clears throat> a time of war and a time of peace. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> So, 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 I mean, it's, and really, it's just, that shit is madness. This shit is just stupid. Like, love all, everything. This don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why the scripture says in Isaiah, it says, if you show favor to the wicked, he, he, he ain't going to uphold righteousness. If you show mercy to, because, I mean, mercy should be to everybody, but it's a, this is a fucking time and a point where, all right, your mercy is cut the fuck off. Yeah, you through now. You're done. Yeah. You took it too far. Yeah. Now is the judgment. And the judgment, and the judgment's coming, man. Esau's judgment is coming. You can see his judgment coming. You can see this country is through. What would that election is in a couple of days, bro? You this place is through. You're, we see it. Uh, it's Tuesday, right? Oh, yeah. So, uh, is it, we already seen that here downtown. We're in downtown right now. There's all kind of, we've seen people got their uh, buildings boarded up. Not everybody, but some of them do. They're afraid their windows are going to get broken out. But look at it, uh, Psalms 139 and 19, because he was just talking about the wicked. Look, surely that will slay the wicked, O God. Depart me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. All we've seen a lot of these people is taking the Lord's name in vain, or speaking ill of the Bible. You see that? I see that? I seen this one video, even though this dude was a Christian, he's one of the pork chop pastors. He was out there, he was trying to, he was saying, in Jesus, and you see that video? He was walking around like a, a BLM protest going, in Jesus' name, in, in the name of Jesus, or something like that. Or he, I might have been saying hallelujah too. But he kept saying that, I forget what exactly what he's saying. Man, man they, be, they beat the hell out of him. They beat him up. Because <laughs> they're not trying to hear, those guys, they're not trying to hear nothing about no Bible. Okay, they're not trying to hear what the Bible has to say. You already seen there a bunch of there a bunch of sodomites. Uh, where do we go? Do I? Oh, uh, here it is. Do I not hate them? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna read this again. Do I not hate them? Oh, yeah, how with that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. So that. As the hate, this is love wins. What the scriptures say, do you supposed to hate the Lord's enemies? And you supposed to hate the wicked? Yeah, I count them mine enemies. Oh. They'll be like, that's the Old Testament. You can already hear it already, can't you? Oh, that's the Old Testament. When Jesus came, that all changed. Let's get that Romans 9 and 13. This is in the New Testament, mind you. Romans 9 and 13. It says, as it is written, Jacob. Oh, that's how we started the video off talking about Jacob, right? Because we're Jacob, we're Israel. Look, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That's the New Testament. And, and that says that the Lord hates Esau. He hates the Edomites. But he loves the Israelites. He loves Jacob. Oh, look. So what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. So since the Most High hates a whole race and a whole nation of people, you gonna tell me that makes God evil? Does that make him unrighteous? No. He, he loves who he want to love. Look, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So the Lord showed mercy and compassion to whoever he wants to. And he told you that he don't have no compassion for the Edomites. He said he hates Esau.
Hey, that's what, hey, that BLM thing's all funded by Esau. You know, everybody talk about George Soros and all that. But that's real. He really does fund them. And all the donations you've given to BLM, that's all going to the Democratic Party. It's all going to a bunch of rich white Edomites. That's where it's going to. Okay. Hey, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are both controlled by the same people. They're both controlled by rich Edomites. That's who they're controlled by. Uh, uh, Sirach 14, I mean, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 9 says, uh, For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. Who? Both alike hateful unto the Most High. They're hateful. Oh, that's a love wins. Oh, yeah, love wins. But I guess we're not winning. Right? right. How, I guess if love wins, we're done. Yeah. We're through. This place is, let's get, if, win, if that's what wins, then we're through. Yeah. This place is through. It's going to be destroyed if love wins. I get the scripture uh, first, John 3 and 4. Is that the scripture I want? No, 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 no. Second John 2 and 6. Oh, oh shit. Second John 2. Cause it, it, if love wins, it, this place is through. If that's what, if that's <laughs> this place is a done deal. You stick a fork in this, some bitch. <laughs> you stick a fork, son. Look at that. What happened? I think my oh man, Satan got you. Oh, he, just, <laughs> he took away all the love from me. <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, no damn. That's messed up. That's how you, I know you had that Bible for years. Ain't you? Man, I got some Bibles that's missing all kind of pages. Uh, just like you find them ancient texts, they find from the ancient world, you know? Scrolls, missing pages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, wait, you sure? Because, wait, wait. Second have... John 6. Oh, maybe there's only one chapter. Yeah, that's why. Durr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second John. What did I say? Is it, yeah, there's only one chapter in Second John. Yeah. I'm tripping. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I second... got you. <laughs> It's Second John one is uh, six it says, and this is love. Oh, and th this is the biblical definition of love. So we're gonna talk about love wins. Oh, you can, I didn't even get it on camera. I keep pointing at it. See, this says love wins. Love wins. If love wins, <laughs> this place is through. Go ahead, read that. It says. Uh, Second John one and uh, six says, and this is love that we walk after His commandments. If this if this is love that we walk after His commandments, that's love. And what's the commandments? The first, first, and for, foremost, love is the first commandment is thou shalt have no other gods before me. Uh, you know, you got a lot of people in that they into that commit stuff. You know, they following after the the ways of the Egyptians. Some people just agnostics, atheists. You know, they all over the place. You might have some Buddhist in there. You might have some, just some, <laughs> whatever, all philosophers, so-called philosophers. You might have some pagans, you know, some witches, and then there's some voodoo, some santeria. They got, you know, they accept anybody. They'll say that's love. We got to accept everybody. We don't care what your religion or whatever. You can worship whatever you got. We're all the same. We're all, it's love. You know? I read that again. It says, this is, uh... This is love that we walk after His commandments. And so that's love is that we walk after His commandments. Go ahead. That this is uh, this is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning, you shall walk in it. Yeah, you heard from the beginning, all the way back to the Garden of Eden. The Lord told him not to eat that fruit. Okay. What is that fruit? Let's go back to that tree over there. Remember that tree we was looking at? Yeah. That, 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 eating that strange fruit. That fruit that you can uh, worship whatever God you want. Okay, that was the... That's against the commandments. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. You can eat whatever you want to eat. You can have sex with whoever you want to have sex with. You know, commit all kind of fornication. And they have a bunch of fornicators out here. So love, if love wins, that means you to win, you would have to keep the commandments, right? To be a winner, you have to be a, a commandment keeper. So this place loses. They lose. They're losers. They don't win. They catching L's. They gonna catch a big L. The 
Lord going <laughs> He be dropping L's from the sky on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dropping them elbows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, the Macho Man elbow, like flying a boom. I want to get the point out the, um, the Garden of Eden because something the serpent said, which is deceiving everybody because. Cause like you said, everybody saying oh, they saying come together. Everybody come together. We supposed to love each other, but they they don't know all that shit. It's just all stuff. That's, all that stuff is going equal to their death. You know what I'm saying? Cause they think it's, you, you could just be a homosexual and do all this crap and just keep living, smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, doing whatever. But this is what that serpent. This is what the serpent told him. He said, uh, Genesis three and uh, three says, bro, the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall you touch it, at least you die. And, and that's what the Lord been telling us. He been telling us that Deuteronomy, don't go over to the heathens, don't yep. go listen to them, or they're, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be, uh, or, or what he say? He said they're gonna be uh, vexation to you, something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it says, uh, cause you fuck, you start hanging out with heathens, you are gonna start following their ways. You are gonna start eating their food, you know? It's like, it's like living amongst them and shit. That's why. That's why. I, Look at America. You, like my part of the place. There's fucking there's Jake, there's there's the uh, Elam, there's fucking there all these different type of fucking races. You know what I'm saying? And then what happens? Eventually everybody start mixing together and shit. That's why nowadays in popular culture you see everybody walking around with goddamn tattoos. Mm -hmm. that, that's not the way of our people. Yeah. Getting tattoos was never the, that was never the way of our people was getting no goddamn tattoos. You guys people getting fucking earplugs. Oh, you know they getting all kind of crazy piercings. Ugly ass nose rings. That shit yeah. Smack. People fucking being all goofy. Thing. You know what yeah. I mean? Fucking tattoo got some Chinese characters on it. Like, come on, son. That is not the customs of our people. That's how old. That's what the heathens did. Like you see them heathens down in Africa. They stretching their earlobes out, stretching their lips. That's not. That's what's coming next. Y'all gonna do the lips next? You know? Always got to one up another one. You know? Tattoos all over their face. You see all kind of people in the hood now. They have tattoos all over their face. Look like somebody's just scribbling on them. Back in the day, like when I was growing up, you never really seen, you ain't never seen no face tattoos. But you seen heathens with it. You used to, used to see a documentary on TV about some strange, for, for far away country where some heathens were covered in tattoos. And you was like, oh, them people were strange. But now y'all strange, you know? It says, and the serpent said unto a woman, ye shall not surely die. And that's what Esau had lied to you, so-called blasphemy of dead Americans, and the rest of the uh, jakes that scattered abroad. They told you that you could be homosexual. That's love. That's true love. You, you can do that. And then guess what? Now you got, that's what, uh, I don't know if I was said it at uh, camp before. I don't know if I told you, but my sister, she a nurse, and she said one of her patients, this nigga, he's a you know homosexual, and he been married to his husband whatever Good. for years and shit. And he said, uh, "Did they have kids yet?" It's like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they probably. Are they married? They gonna have a family? They have kids? <laughs> Popping out his asshole? <laughs> the little turtlings? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, what they call it, the egg shit? Yeah, <laughs> fucking egg his kids out. Oh. Man, nasty man. But uh, she said she he got something like some type of cancer or some I can't remember what it was, but he said she was at he was at the thing. And he, well, he also said that he had like diarrhea for like years, <laughs> like straight for years, like nonstop. You know what I'm saying? And then she, like, he had like a his, his, his a hole blasted out. Oh at the my hospital goodness! And shit. He just going through it. And, and why would you? Why would you, like? Why would you do that to yourself? You know what I'm saying? You know, man, man. Whew, wow. that, that's why the scripture says. I don't know if I quoted early, but love worketh no ill to your neighbor. That worketh ill to him. That doesn't sound love. That sounds like he was ill. He was yeah. in the hospital. He was ill. Through. Oh, we're gonna do it. He's ill, it's like, <laughs> like get the etymologies yeah. and all that stuff. Like, yeah. He's ill, man. That's, that's, that's ill. When that's you're literally crazy. in the hospital, that means you're ill. That's not love. You get messed up. Yeah, how you even go to the hospital just for having sex? That's, that's that tells you. That's why. They, and you look at I think the CDC, whatever. They tell you that anal sex is the like the most dangerous form of sex. And so, why do you have to go to the hospital just for having sex? Why do you got do? Why do you got put yourself through all that shit? Hold on. CDC, demographics, STDs, HIV, highest rate. I don't know. <laughs> I just did a bunch of keywords. I can't even say them. H HCPs, HIV one. Yeah, here it is. What demographic has the highest STD rate? 
Let's get this up. STDs and racial or ethnic minorities. Come on, bro. I was going to, I done messed it up. Trash. Sexually trained. That's 2018. Oh, that's too much reading. I know I've seen a chart before. I should have had it saved. Yeah, what demographic has the highest rate of HIV? According to HIV.gov, key points, HIV incidence. In 2018, the rate was highest for persons age 25 to 34, followed by the rate for persons age 35 to 44. That's all they said? Let's do it like this. Homosexuals have highest rate of HIV, AIDS. To the CDC. Uh, I can't find that one chart. I bet Google start, I gotta use a different search engine. You know Google will start blocking searches. <laughs> so you gotta watch them too, man. That's always got a good excuse too, though. I can't find it. I, I, I remember, I know you're talking about, cause I made a video on it a long time ago. I think you probably just, if you just go to homosexual of the uh, CDC. Well, look, in 2018, gay and bisexual men made up 69% of new HIV diagnosis. Majority percentage. That's disgusting. And look, and it says so-called black African-American men have a higher rate of HIV than any other group. That's the, that's what they try to push on Israel too. You know, they trying to push in the hood. You see, most of the trannies are freaking so-called black people. They are Israelites. That's what they pushing on. They got the, oh look at Atlanta. You see the HIV rate in Atlanta? They said there's an AIDS epidemic. I was worried about some Corona. Y'all be really worried about some AIDS. Okay. You want to catch some AIDS? You can live with Corona. You catch some AIDS, you done. And now, <laughs> man, it's crazy out here, bro. You got that, that nigga, uh, Nas, what's his name? Oh, I seen that dressed up like Nicki Minaj or yeah, something. Yeah, like, what the fuck? What's that little Nas X? Yeah, because he came out and said he was a homosexual. So everybody's pushing that. They're, they're trying to encourage our our young men to uh, to do what They say you can do whatever you want, which is telling them they can break the commandments. Let's get the commandments. Okay. I'll go ahead. Well, I'll yeah, go so, ahead. Okay, yeah, uh, Romans 1 and, uh, you know, one of the classics. Uh, yeah, Roman. that's a good one. <laughs> Romans 1 and uh, 20, I'm starting at 22, uh, says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Yeah, and when they, that's this. Yeah. What, that's this. That's the, that's the wisdom of the world. This is the wisdom of the world. They think they're wise and they have wisdom and knowledge when they say these things. But when they say these things, they become fools. And, and, and they're obvious that they're fools. This is madness. Yeah, it, really, all they they doing is really just going off their their flesh. They just there's a scripture in that uh, Jude where it says they uh they're just earthly. They just this wisdom is not heavenly. It's earthly. It's weak. I gotta get it's that. Weak, it, it's weak. That one's too good. Too yeah, that is. You're right though. That is fleshly. That's giving it to the flesh. Is you know, go along to get along. You know, just all oh, it feels good. I remember that one video somebody sent to the uh, to the brother in the camp. He seen this video. I guess they were beefing on YouTube, and this guy made a response video. And he's like, "What do you mean? What do you mean I can't get no head from no tranny?" Oh, yeah. He's like, "What? I ain't allowed to have no fun." <laughs> he made a response video saying that. I seen the video. I was that's like, crazy. "What?" He's like, "What are you talking about? That feels good." Oh, God. See, that's that's, that's that fleshly spirit. That is disgusting, actually. But that actually happened in real life. He actually said these things. I was a witness to it. <laughs> people are nuts out here, man. They really are nuts. That's why these people that say love wins, they're nuts. Oh, shit, it's like, I think it's James, real quick, it's like. What was you looking for? Where it said, uh, this is not. This wisdom was not heavenly, but earthly, something like that. Because 
yeah, like 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 what you were saying that that your answer to everything. Oh, just love. Like, love. Nigga, come on, man. That's, that's just an you know that's just, you know, to y'all that how y'all see it. That's just an emotion. You know what I'm saying? But love is a is like pretty much is a law. It's, it's like a law of life, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? But y'all just oh, I, I feel like I really like this person, so I, <laughs> I'm just gonna do some weird shit with them, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the scriptures don't, I can't find it, I'm about to find it later, but the scriptures don't tell you to go based off your feelings and your emotions. Because some, like, some cases you might have to hate something or hate somebody, you know what I'm saying? It's like we read earlier in Ecclesiastes. We hate the eat, all the Edomites, we hate them. Yeah. From the depths of our soul, we hate them. Mm-hmm. An eternal hatred. Yeah. That's part of the reason why we come out here and make these videos. We, we hate the enemies of the Lord that much. We hate two thirds of our own people because they're wicked and no good. You know, they prevent progress. They prevent anything good. They ruin everything. They ruin for everybody. So why should we like? Why should you love people who's ruining it for everybody? Why would we love them? A bunch of thieves, a bunch of adulterers, a bunch of liars, a bunch of swindlers. You know, everything, every word in the book. That's that's our people, man. Why we should we love them? Or two thirds of them? We only love the elect. That's who we love. That's a small percentage. Why should we love these people? They don't love us. Yeah. This, 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 this is James three and fifteen. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. Yeah. Read that again. It says James three. Oh, hold up! No, no, hold up! Hold up! Let me get this. All right, hold up. Hold up. Some love action. Look at this love action. Go read that again. It says James 3 and 15. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. Devilish. That's devilish. This this whole thing they got going on in here is devilish. Okay? This whole damn world is devilish. And the people in it are devils. And there's people in their little their little vain thoughts and their little BS teachings you know and their ideologies like all this election stuff going on everybody got an opinion everybody thinks they're an expert they're a political expert living in the hood make ten dollars an hour you an expert But, you know, everybody's just fighting and bickering. Everybody's talking about, well, this is what we should do to make the country better. Well, no, that's not what we should do. We should do this. Oh, we should tax the rich. You know, everybody, all this yeah. madness. That's the spirit. I watched this video of this dude. I can't remember his name. I don't know what the fuck his name is. But he, was, he was like, uh, he said, we shouldn't ask that. He said, he said, we shouldn't ask the average person what they think because the average person pretty much, he said, is retarded. <laughs> he, said, he was like, he, was like, he said, we, we still got bleach and you got a big ass sign that says do not swallow and you say if you if you take that away for two years these these dumb ass people will probably swallow it you know what i'm saying Cause that's how stupid <laughs> people just, are just a little sip yeah <laughs> like if, if, if you need a sign that says do not swallow on a fucking bleach thing then you're fucking retarded you gotta put it on the paint dead you start stirring that paint up it's all creamy yeah like, it's like i'm <laughs> maybe i could see it oh, man. people are idiots man you people are they, they, they don't even give a fuck, really. They just they just they just worry about their own little little self. If it doesn't really evolve them, they don't really give a fuck. You know what I'm saying, but not knowing everything that goes on in the world is all connected. You know what I'm saying. So if 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 something goes on t- on the other side of the world, like with China, if, you know what I'm saying. If their fucking comedy fucks up, our shit gonna be fucked up too. But you tra- don't don't trade with the motherfuckers too, like crazy. You know what I'm saying. They like what like the second biggest fucking. Uh, comedy in the world, whatever. Well, well China, they're the, the top manufacturer in the world. Yeah. I mean, so-called America has the, I guess, the best economy. Yeah. Oh, did you see America had the best? They increased their GDP by 31 percent this year. You ain't see it? Damn. This is the best year in history. What the hell? That's what they said. Shit. See? That don't mean a, wait, really? That's what they claiming. I don't. Do, do, do Look, all that Rona shit. Yeah. Well, they said they bounced back from the Rona. I don't know how you can believe any of it. 31%, though? I, don't, I mean, I, don't, they, I think it was 31%. That's crazy, man. I was, just, I was just watching the Trump rally. I already seen it on other shows, and everybody was like, wow. And I heard it on the talk radio driving. 
I listen to talk radio every day. So yeah, it's pretty true. I be listening to uh, <laughs> I listen to all them guys. When, when I'm on the road, I listen to Larry Elder. That's a late at night. That Sasha guy, what's that New Zealand guy? I forget his name. I listen to all them shows. Hey, there's some good information on there. All too, because when the people be calling in, that's when you get the good stuff. Because especially you get the local shows where people be calling in the radio. Oh my God. They'll call it. They, I got the got the quick reaction time. I've been practicing my ninja skills. <laughs> people be calling in on the radio shows. They be like, we about had it. I say we go round them all up and put them all in prison. They might like, execute them. Forget the fire squad. And that's how the spirit is. People fed up out here. That's that spirit is out here. Hey, you should get that one. The uh, sedition among men. We in that so oh man, I seen all oh, Alex Jones's clickbait titles. Today I woke I was looking for some videos to watch this morning. Seen that info wars on BitChute. He titled the video Civil War. Election, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but it, it ain't amping it up. Oh, you keep saying that, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be interesting to see how it's gonna go down though. You know? Yeah. Cause hey, they could just we have full out martial law on your asses, put it into y'all shit real quick. What did your boy say Trump? He said everybody's gonna get this damn vaccine. He said, yeah, I think they asked him like how they gonna do it. And he said military. The military. Much. He said he got a hundred million ready. A hundred million. That's almost half the country. That's a third of the country. But we gonna see soon enough. Like we was talking around the way out here, we was cold. Man, it was cold as fuck. We was walking up here. You saw it was just snowing. Where did, it was crazy, or hail and snow. It was freezing, bro. The wind blowing crazy out here, and this is when all this crazy stuff's finna to go down. Just like the Lord said, pray not your that your flight be not in the winter. But we was talking about that, that cause this would be some whew, some crazy weather to be, you know. It's just some stuff to go down in. Second uh, Ezra's 15 and uh, uh, 16, well, 14 says, ah, shit, let me go to 12. Uh, let me go to 11, 11. okay, 11 says. Yeah, so I know the whole, you read the whole chapter. Yeah. It, it, uh, 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 but I would bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite each other. That's actually like it, okay, I'm a good 10 because... That's the spirit. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Oh, all these different ideologies, political ideology, all that. Our yeah. people led to the slaughter. Like this whole election thing, y'all get led to the slaughter. You know what I mean? All your leaders, all the leaders, all the so called black leaders, they all, what do they call Judas goats? They're Judas goats. they leading y'all to the slaughter. You can't trust none. Only thing, y'all can trust the prophets. That's all y'all can trust. Go ahead. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So the Lord ain't going, just as before, there's going to be a second exodus. America is spiritually not going to be. The Lord, he ain't going to suffer us to stay here forever. You know, because the Lord is ever merciful, you know. Because right now, we, we he fucking us up out here. We getting messed up out here. You know, we miserable. So the Lord, he's going to deliver us, man. We ain't going to go through this forever. Go ahead. It says, uh, and, 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 and punishment that God shall bring upon it, they that till the ground shall mourn, for the seed shall fell through the blasting in hell and with a, a, a fearful uh, consolation. That famine, it says. Oh, man, it could be a famine quick. But if there really was some Civil War type stuff, you know, people choosing sides. You could have truck truck drivers. You don't know what could happen. They're like, well, I'm not going to that city. Well, I'm not driving goods to that city. If you're a liberal city, I, they, I already heard truckers say it. They said, if you support the liberals and the protests, we're not going to go to your city. I've heard yeah, they could stop delivering goods. That means food. They stop delivering food. All kind of crazy stuff could happen. Plus, they could ramp up this Ronin. You know, they could turn that up. Like, oh, the case is, oh, Mike don't. Uh, Governor Mike DeWine here in Ohio, he already said it. He said the cases are skyrocketing. We might have to lock it down again. And then you got people talking about this some people got arrested because they was trying to kidnap him. Did you hear about that? They was plotting to kidnap him. There's a lot of people that want, want to get that guy, you know? 
It is getting crazy out here. It's been crazy. It's been crazy. It's getting real crazy though. Whoo! It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell." Ooh, woe to the world and them that dwell. Woe to y'all, man. Woe to this world. The Lord finna to destroy this world. He finna to destroy America. Woe. Ooh, woe unto y'all. That's like the name of this channel. Woe unto the wicked. Woe unto y'all. Woe unto the wicked. It says, for the sword and the destruction drive nigh. The sword and destruction drive. That's beautiful. I can keep cutting you up. You got that's a, that's a powerful scripture. The sword and destruction drive nigh. And we've been talking about that sword. They could have martial law. Well, they already brought in the National Guard in Philly. You see that? They was uh, riding in Philadelphia. They brought in the National Guard. It's just a matter of time. You know, if stuff keeps getting out of hand, it's just a matter of time before they just start killing people, man. There's only so much they're going to allow. The only reason they ain't, you know, National Guard ain't really started shooting people because they're American citizens. You know, it can't, it's not going to be a good look to shoot American citizens. But they go, they might come a time they start shooting people, man. Might have a damn media blackout and start and start letting loose on you, motherfuckers. I won't even know about it. Different states won't even know about it. Oh, the electric. I say, I think the same thing. Our electric went out like uh, it was the last night, like in the middle of the night. My, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I was thinking, oh, did they shut it off already? Yeah. I was like, hey, that's. Yeah. I didn't know they was gonna do it a couple days before the election, but then it came back on. That's the first thing I thought. Oh, here it goes. They shut the electric off. They gonna they could they could do it. They could shut off. Y'all don't think they could shut it off? They could shut it all down, easy. You know, countries do, do that all the time. You know, shut the internet off. You know, to stop people from commun communicating with each other. It says, uh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. So that's what they standing up to fight each other, right? You can see it, man, all over the world, even. Not just here in America, all over the world. You see it getting crazy in France, it's getting crazy and wild in Germany, everywhere. The UK is nuts. It says, uh, for, uh, for there shall be sedition among men. Oh, where was that? I was just watching another video. Was that sedition among men? Was that Italy? Was it, oh, was that Spain? I can forget what video I was watching, but the, the cops were trying to enforce the lockdowns because they had another lockdown over there. And I just seen a whole swarm of people just chasing the It looked like a horde of zombies chasing after the cops. And all the cops pilt. They got up out of there. Did they, did, did people getting fed up? They like, we tired of your lockdowns and all this, you know? You're getting crazy. People started to go nuts out here. Go ahead. It says, they, uh, it's like invading one another. They should not regard their kings nor princes. And of course, the actions shall stand in their power. A uh, man shall go into this. Uh, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, but because of the pride, the city shall. Uh, uh, I was watching that show. I think I brought it out before. Uh, it's on Netflix called uh, "To the River" or some Ooh. shit or whatever. It's like looks exactly like today, pretty much, but a little worse. Everybody wearing masks and shit, whatever. Disease. Whatever. I need to watch it. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, there was a scene, dude. His family. He had a new bitch and like some others, like outside of the out of, outside of Moscow, or whatever. And he tried to get in Moscow to get his family. But he passed unless you I'm saying so you got smoke going inside. So people can't go in or can't get out because my motherfucker might get quarantined or Yeah, quarantine. I had I told you I had a dream about that, but but I, everybody was like wearing masks and stuff. Shit was locked down. You couldn't get in certain spots and all that. Because shit, they might come out with that real virus, you know? You have to worry about some corona. Corona is some bullshit. That's just a cold. It's literally like a common cold. Unless there's some. I ain't seen the second, the special mutation to it yet. It's a real, it's really a cold. If it, if it even exists. I didn't even see nobody sick. Have you seen anybody sick? Not personally, they said, I heard people was sick, but I never seen nobody personally. But like, I ain't really seen, usually you see people just walking down the street, blowing their nose and coughing, but I ain't never seen none of that. It's like, it's now it's getting cold now, and now everybody gonna be sick. So what the fuck? Uh, yeah, now so you, go, oh, you got the Rona. Like, come on now. And we told y'all, I remember we could go all the way back to March or whatever this started. And when they said it was, four, they said that the lockdown was gonna be 14 days. 
And we told you back then they were going to keep it going. But then it kept it going all the way up until, what is this, no, it's almost November. What's today, no, November 1st, ain't it? Today's the 1st. So they kept, <laughs> they kept this thing going. Well, it's not a complete lockdown, but like Ohio's all messed up. All kind of businesses are still shut down, you know? So they kept that thing. They said 14 days. Now we're in November. They said four. They were dealing with the devil. That's that's the devil. Oh, it's 14 days. Just trust us. So y'all trusted him. He gave you the 14 days. Then he was like, hot. Now now he knew he could get 14 days out of you. Now he got you. Now you get the whole year. Now they talking about oh for the next two years. You know. And I asked people too. I was like, bro, how long are you gonna wear that mask for, bro? For the rest of your life? If like it needs be. <laughs> I mean, really, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He means necessary. It's crazy. But I see a lot of people, they start, they just don't even care no more. You go up in the store, everybody's mask hanging around their face, and <laughs> nobody even cares. I can't take my freedom. You know what I'm saying? It's not even that. I think if people got to the point, it's not even about freedom. It's like, fuck this mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at first, I'm thinking, like, it might be, like, oh, it might be serious. And I was like, whatever. I just started. I mean, I never really like careful yeah. like put it over my face, but I thought it was gonna be more serious. Yeah, I thought it. Was. I thought the real. I thought they really had a good old plug coming for yeah. it. Yeah. Because I think what they did in China, what that was a lot of propaganda videos when they showed the uh, spraying the streets with the trying to kill. The, that had to be propaganda. Because if it came out of China, you know, it was probably some bullshit. You know, that's what I really started thinking about that too. I was like, I bet this is all fake. That was all for show, just so they can lock stuff down. But. But I heard there were some cases of the bubonic, no, the, with the, bub, or the bubonic plague, the Black Death. Let's we'll see that one pop up. Says, Shit, y'all already got the worst plague. We already talking about AIDS. <laughs> it says, uh, the, the houses shall be destroyed, the men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. That's what, man, we already said that man ain't going to have no pity on his neighbor. You know, people going to be killing each other for food. They'll, they'll kill each, you know, they already kill each other for anything. But if there ain't no cops, you know, the cops start, stop responding to calls, they're going to have their hands full. If all hell breaks loose out here, the cops ain't answering nobody. They're going to have their hands full. Okay, it's going to be every man for himself out here. Man, I remember I was... I was like, uh, Atlanta and Business Brothers, this motherfucking, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, motherfucking, uh, show on Netflix showing how Brazil, it's showing different nations and shit, on drugs and shit, and it was like Brazil, and these motherfuckers out here, you know how they be, the fucking slums, these motherfuckers got, like, goddamn, uh, what's it called, a table of drugs, and they just sitting there like it's, like, normal selling drugs, like, yeah, come here, yeah, get by this, you know what I'm huh? saying, if they treat, if they doing it like that, how much more when, the, the 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 police in that that area don't do no raids nothing like that. Oh it's man, gonna be, it's gonna it's gonna be like that in America. They're gonna be just walking down the street like, hey, you don't buy this or whatever or shit. They might be killing my they might crack ass might kill these drug dealers for the no, drugs. I was just watching the new uh, the new Mandalorian. You see that? No, I ain't see it. Yet. The new Mandalorian the episode the season two, but there was a thing that as soon as it, like there's a small mining village right in the show, but as soon as the empire went down. And the empire went down, there was no more empire, no more government. As soon as it went down, a private company came in and was killing everybody in the village, took over everything. You know, that's what's going to happen. Because now there's going to be no cops and no law. You, gonna, you, got, fuck, you got corporations out here with money and equipment and guns. They can start making moves. All kind of crazy stuff is going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> gangs. Gangs, yeah, people going to start forming the gangs real quick. Start taking food. Yep. You gotta come to them motherfuckers if you want some food. They're gonna get tribal out here. That's the, uh, and you'll be having them one powerful, <laughs> like some Walking Dead type shit. And people putting uh, other people in slavery, you know? That's what's going on. Hey, I can see it, bro. It's getting, you give me the visions. I'm seeing it. Yeah. Probably gonna walk down the street, motherfuckers hanging from trees and shit. You know what I'm saying? Dead bodies just lying there. People, yeah, people getting crucified. All kind of sick shit. You can see it, bro. Great people. These, these people out here are wicked and evil, man. They're wicked and evil. If these people were left to their own devices, it would be hell on earth out here. It says, 
but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for a great tribulation. If there's a lack of, what is it going doing over there? Oh, that's my speaker. Is they singing or something? Hold up. I'm sorry, we we in the midst of doing a video. I'm sorry. So I do it for shit, what, twenty dollars? Like, <laughs> I didn't see what was going on. Over. Who cares? That was a distraction. <laughs> he felt salty, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see his face. So he with his girl too. It's like, yeah. man, we should just took this picture. But come on, bro, I don't know you, man. Look, hold up. I don't know you, but I love you. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's salty. We didn't follow the rules. Right. It's like. Hey, you see people over here making a video and stuff. That's actually kind of rude. Yeah, rude as hell. At least say hi, how you doing? Like, oh, sure, it's cold out here. Yeah. You know? I'll take like, my picture. Yeah. Slide in there. Yeah, slide, you got to slide in there. You got to be smooth with it, you know? <laughs> you know, the homeless people be good with that, don't they? The homeless people know how to work you over, bro. They come over here and talk with you about a half hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they uh, get you, yeah. bro. They get you for everything. Yeah. You, you be cool with it, and then you feel bad to say no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight. Deceived you. He says, uh, let me see. Look, that was it, that one. Yeah, that was it. So that's what's coming, man. There's gonna be no bread. What did it say? No bread? The lack of bread? Mm -hmm. You already see when the coronavirus first started? Bro, there was a lack of, you went to the grocery store, there was nothing. Literally, like, literally, like, liter. you know, that's a meme now. Literally, actually. <laughs> you don't know the memes? <laughs> <laughs> like literally, they didn't try to say you're not allowed to say literally no more. Right, yeah. It's like literally, there was no bread in the stores during the coronavirus when it first started. There was no bread on it, like no bread at all. There was no bread. There was no water. There was no eggs. There was no milk. You, there was no orange juice. People, oh, there's a virus. We gotta drink all the orange juice. Got that vitamin C. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Jake is crazy. Mm -hmm. They got all the, but that's true though, you know. Uh, there was no ramen. You know, I was good thing I had a stock of ramen too, man. You always gotta keep the ramen on you. But there was no ramen. There was no rice. You know, there was no rice. There was no. There was nothing. You go to the store, there'd be nothing. There was nothing left to eat but like candy and snacks. <laughs> you know, eating cupcakes. But that was really a lack of bread out here. And just think, man, it could get worse than that. Cause that one, that was just a, see that was a lack of bread just out of panic. That wasn't no real shortages or nothing, that was just out of panic. So what happens when you add panic with real, with real shortages? You're gonna get actual real shortages, you know? Trucks gonna stop moving, and people's panic, and ain't gonna be nothing. And that, ah! and that was caused by the media too, they did that on purpose. Causing all that panic. Kim and I talking about the corona, you know, stay inside and this and that. They caused all kind of panic. They did that on purpose. People freaking the hell out, running to the grocery store, buying all the food up, buying all the toilet paper. You know, buy, you still can't get alcohol and peroxide. It's hard. Have you checked? I use alcohol and peroxide a lot. You know, but now it was always plentiful. But now you got these people out here hoarding everything. You know, that's the greed of these people, too. They out here hoarding, you know, the greed. If I see some, I, I, I might buy a couple, but I ain't going to take them all. You know, people go in there, they'll see some water. Oh, they got some water. I'm going to buy 12 cases, you know. You just buy enough for yourself, man. Save some for everybody else. So that, that right there, too, that panic, that shows you the degree to the, the people, too, man. They'll take everything for themselves. That's the degree. That's why. Uh, scripture says you shall you shall pretty much hoard all this shit up, but the just gonna um, collect it. So we we it's like that what that movie um fucking, what the hell what's that movie uh shit what's the, what's that movie the road you know what I'm saying oh yeah well, that movie's terrifying yeah they was walking and then they found an underground bunker with all that food and shit yeah so that's, that might have that might have Lord do for us who might be walking and then somebody been hoarding food over here but this nigga he probably. You know, he probably got taken away by the martial arts troops, and now it's all ours. 
know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, little, little, however the Lord do it. But, uh, this is, uh, Second Ezra 6 and 22 says, uh, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And that's what, that's what we've seen. And, uh, you went to Kroger and shit. A lot of the shelves are empty, like you were saying. Everything's through. You know what I'm saying? Plus, there's going to be a lot of stealing, too. They're just going to take it. They're just going to take it. Yeah. You know? But I was thinking this scripture, well, this is one of them. What kind of goes sort of? Jeremiah 49 and 9. If the grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If these by night, they will destroy till they have enough. Man, they're going to take all They going to take all the grapes. They're going to take everything. When there's a shortage, you know, people will come through, they, they're greedy. These people out here are greedy. The people of the world. Yeah, you got more? Oh, that was it. I but that's, there's another one, too. But it, there's a law on that, actually. They only take enough for you. You're not supposed to take it more than you need, you know? That's what people, they always want to have more than what they need. Can never have enough. It says, uh, verse 23, it says, And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be uh, suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Water going to be through, too. Oh, yeah, where are they going to get some clean water at in the cities? There's, what, are you see any natural springs around here? No, I... <laughs> We gonna drink some water out the Scioto River. Let's get that on camera. We gonna drink some of that. Let's see if we can get that on camera. You gonna drink some of that? That's the Chocolate River. It won't focus. Ooh, that river look cold, boy. I think this battery's about to die. Oh, like, like your boy Biden said, we hope we're going to that, with that dark winter. We're going to say, Charlie, well, I don't mess with the thing.